The search for a missing six-year-old boy in St. Cloud has a tragic ending. Hamza Elmi went missing from his family's home Thursday night around 9. Police began searching for the youngster around his home. Hamza has autism and is nonverbal. Crews from several jurisdictions took part in the search that eventually led them to the Mississippi River where his body was found. Reg Chapman was in St. Cloud after his family learned of the discovery. Reg joins us right now from the newsroom with more. What a tragic story, Reg. It really is, Amelia. Family members say Hamza has walked away from his home before. They say he always goes to a special place next door, but Thursday night was different. Hamza and his pink scooter went missing. Hours later, a tip led investigators to the river's edge. Well, he's autistic, so he has the brain capacity of a one-year-old. Faduma Elmi says her six-year-old brother Hamza cannot speak. When he somehow disappeared from their home in North St. Cloud Thursday night, family immediately called police. He was last seen riding a scooter. Um, don't know where to, just took off. Faduma says Hamza had strayed away from home in the past. He'd done it a couple times, but we knew his favorite place. He would always go to this, just next door, they have a playground, and he loves to play with the sand. He would just always go there, and I don't know what happened this time. Police were called around 9 last night. They searched a 160-square block area around the family's home, hoping the boy had wandered into someone's backyard, as he did in the past. Crews, along with family and friends, searched through the night. This morning, around 8.30, police got a tip. We did receive tips. We did find scooters that we mentioned, uh, one of those scooters uh, being here uh, at this river site. The search of the neighborhood expanded into a search of the Mississippi River. That pink scooter was found in the water, so divers went in looking for any signs of Hamza. Uh, after conducting the water search, that's when we did end up finding uh, the body of the young boy. This morning, our worst nightmare has come to fruition, and a family is without a child. Now, police say they don't expect foul play. Investigators say the circumstances surrounding this incident indicate that this was a tragic accident, Amelia, with a very sad outcome. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, Reg, thank you.